Hello there, everyone. I just got this in the mail today. I have not bought a plant online for so long. I think it's been over six months. I wanted to focus on what I have now and, and get everything, you know, in pots, better pots and stuff. So I, I and it's winter, so I don't like ordering in the winter even though I've never really had a bad experience in the winter. I mean I've had plants get to me, monsteras get to me uh, almost frozen and stuff but they recovered so I just wanted to open this in front of you so you could see what I got. It's only one plant. Uh, I saw it on somebody's video and so I had to get one basically what happens. I see it on somebody's video and then I and then I have to I start looking. So I did the heat pack was free and I do think I got this on Etsy. Jungle something. Uh, let's see. It is called the little jungle .etsy .com. Well, she didn't didn't put in a heat pack. She said my weather was good. Yeah, our weather's never good. No, um it's actually 30 and it was I ran down today. Luckily I work at home and when it was delivered I ran um down to get it so it, w it was out there for maybe a couple minutes or something so she didn't put a heat pack in because she said my local weather was good uh, she's in florida i'm in ohio our weather's never good i mean it, we did have 70s and 60s in, the, in january but it seems like uh Winter has returned, so now we're back to 30, 30, 35 or something. And it's freezing rain, sleet, you know, the good stuff. I kind of like the weather in January better. So hopefully this guy's okay. Let's we'll see. It's not a big old mushy uh, frozen plant. I mean, he's been sitting up there in my office. I wanted to take him out when uh, I was working, but I, you know, I can't really be making videos while I work. Very pretty. A little bit of dirt, but there's no packing peanuts. That's a good thing. Even even the ones that break down, they kind of, then I th have to throw them in my backyard and then I've got packing peanuts. And I read somewhere they're not good for dogs. So next time I throw them out, I'm gonna have to throw them out outside of my fence because I don't want my dogs to eat them. I didn't think they were harmful because they're baking soda, but now that I've read that, I have to keep them out of the yard. Because I used to just throw them out in the garden and then when it rained, they would like break down. He's got this 
root right here. So I may, I'm probably gonna leave them in the pot for now since it's still winter and then probably put them in a clay pot. pot on the wheel or something and I I've never made one that big. I tend to make small pots. So this is Raphidophora decursiva and he will get big. I originally saw one on, um, I think it's Inquisitive Greens channel. She's got a huge one and I love big plants. So I, I, had, to, I had to look for one and then I found this guy. And I think they have them at um, NSE Tropicals too. But I, I thought I'd give this place a chance. I like to support small, real small business, like small plant sellers because I want them to be successful. Because I think we need more plant sellers that are selling rare plants in the United States because our plant prices are outrageous. I watched these videos about Europe and I mean they have a cupra, a Alcasia cupra for $15. Here, $300. So I, I, I really want, I would really like, I know it's, it's wonderful to be able to make a lot of money off something, but sometimes it gets to be too much. I mean, $300 for a plant, you don't know if it's going to live. And Alcasias, they get spider mites like crazy. So this guy wasn't $300. He was $49. Still, that's expensive for a plant. Um, but I'm trying to calm it down on the plant buying. I don't want to use my credit card to buy some big plant. I don't want to dip into my savings to buy a big plant, these big plants. I want to get my plants under control and I want to start propagating them and um, selling them for decent prices because I, I really think the greed in this plant community in the United States is getting ridiculous. Um, so that's what I want to do. I wish I, I wish I could afford like I wish I had I wish I had a lot of money and I could open up a commercial greenhouse and I could grow rare plants and just just like sell them to stores so that you'd walk into a store and you'd see all these anthuriums and and calatheas like you do in Europe. That that would be awesome. Now you walk into a store and and most of the time my honest, most of the time when I buy something locally, I bring home scale, mealy, or thrips. When I buy them online, usually they're pest free. So that's, that's what I'm seeing. I don't, the, when you go to the small boutiques, they're, they don't have like stump. And then there's another one that's in town, uh, yellow, yellow apple, I think it's called. Um, I've never been there, but Stump never has pests on their plants. Now, when I go to the nurseries, like the garden centers and stuff, I, I, I will bring home pests all the time. I mean, I had mealy, I, the first, the first, uh, fiddle fig I bought had mealy bugs on it. I bought it at a really nice nursery in town that I love to go to, but Whenever I buy something there, I end up with pests. And so that's what I'm noticing. And online, like this plant, I do not see any pests on here. I don't see any scale. Well, let me look first because you never know. But I'll probably spray them down just in case. 
but I'm not seeing any pest damage or anything on this plant. This plant is really in great condition. He's very shiny and he's got a new leaf coming out. It's called Creeping Philodendron. And if you want to see a big one of this, Inquisitive uh, Greens, she, I think she did a, she was repotting her big one and um, in one of her videos and it's huge. So that's why I bought it. I'm a sucker for big plants. But that's it. And so this is the plant. And I'm not going to repot them right now because it's winter. Just let them chill out for now. But thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek on the new grow tent. I worked all day to treat and wash off my aeroids um, to put in this. Uh, so I haven't figured out. I may put some of the smaller ones back in the small grow tent because I'm already running out of room. Uh, this is a Gorilla sh Shorty. So the reason I had to get a short one is because I don't have much room. My um, ceiling is, I think it's only like maybe seven feet or something. So I had to get a shorter one. This was the biggest one I could find that was short enough so I can walk in it. I would have loved to have been able to have an eight foot tall one, but you know, I don't have the head space for that down here, so it wouldn't have worked. I think my uh, people were shorter back in the day when they built this house, so they made the ceilings really, as you can see, it's kind of, I can't even put my treadmill down here because I'd be uh, rubbing my head on the ceiling. So that's why I had to get a shorty. So. So this is the grow tent. The aeroids are on the left. And the Hoyas are on the right. I'm already running out of room. I've got stuff hanging on. I'm, I'm going to have more stuff hanging on the wall. I ordered some S hooks. Uh, I'm going to need to make some, you know, have some things hanging. I might put that big guy, hang him on the, the wall so he's not, he takes up too much room. That guy takes up a lot of room. Uh, uh, this guy here, he's like spread out. Can't remember the name. It's a real long one. I got him from NSA Tropicals, but he's not going to hang because so, his his pot's too heavy. So. But maybe the. Some of the. Bigger. Bigger guys. I can have them hang. But yeah. That, that pot's. That's cement. So. That's too heavy. Uh, I think some of the. Hoyas are going to end up. Hanging from the wall too. Because I'm running out of space over here. Some of the Hoyas are not getting a lot of light. I am getting another smaller light to put there, so I think it's going to be a two foot light. So I put uh, VGI over here, I'm hoping they will grow and hang down, I think that would be cool. Um, I actually have a Hoya over here on the Aeroid side, but it's a big Hoya, so you know, what are you going to do? So, and I have an aeroid over here on the Hoya, so they're fighting for space. I've already got some growth. This wasn't here the last time. So the Hoyas, they've been in here a week, and they're already putting out some growth. And they need watered more, too. So, everything's doing okay so far. These Hoyas... See, they're not getting a lot of light down there. 
the Monstera is probably not getting a lot of light, so I'm thinking maybe hang, have it hanging off something. But yeah, I'm getting a shorter light. I'm going to put here. I'm going to have to figure out where to put my fan because I want my ventilation for the plants. But yeah, this is the, uh, so this is going to help me keep my plants watered since the Hoyas will all be in one spot. Well, most of them are. There are still Hoyas. I, that I have really big Hoyas that I cannot put in here. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you. I will go through one day when I've got everything set up the way I want to, and I will name the plants. I still don't have all of my plants in here that I want, all of my aeroids. So, but I, I, I'm just, it's just been a long day and I've been cleaning and treating and so that's the new grow tent and the old grow tent's gonna, I'm gonna keep that up because I'm gonna keep the smaller plants in there. I need the space. Uh, so that's, that's, I just wanted to show you. Uh, the humidity gets up higher than that, up to, I think it'll get up to like 70%, but when the doors open, it lowers it down to 53. But other than that, it's pretty warm and nice in here. I wish there was space to put a hammock in here or something. It'd be a nice place to just chill. So that's it. And so what I do is I, I have it on a timer and I just zip it up. So this is cool. This is a window. So I can actually come in here and check on the plants, open up the window and check on the humidity. Hopefully the humidity will go up higher than that, but I've got them on a 12 hour cycle. And that's, that's about it. Yeah, see the humidity now that I got the door shut, the humidity starting to go back up. When I just had the Hoyas in there, the humidity wasn't that high, but now that I've got all the aeroids in there, the humidity has gone up tremendously. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.